Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome to another video. So the video today is on this 2014 Ford KA. I'm not really sure what the engine is on this, uh, but the problem is not engine related. So let me show you what the problem is with this thing. So when you start this, let me see if you can see There we go. Can you see the problem? That's not working. And I think there should be some stuff showing in that middle screen. As you can see, it's not. So let's go and investigate and see what's going on. Although I do not believe that this is going to be electrical in the sense of something like wiring problems or fuses or I don't think it's going to be nothing like that. I believe the problem is going to be internally on the cluster. Uh, what we're going to do very quickly, I'm going to plug in the Maxi Sys, see if there's any actuations for this screen, see if we can show any behavior in there, um, or if there's any faults that will uh, point into any direction. But I'm, I, I think from my understanding and uh, from my experience, um, I guess it's going to be something internally on the cluster. Uh, that we're gonna have to look at and there is no fault codes detected on the cluster let's just see if there is any active tests that can we can run uh, sometimes there is where you can so ABS warning display illumination ESP indicator fuel cage illumination generic failure fog level heat Ah, uh, what a shame. What a shame. There isn't. Uh, usually, you have a test for the LCD screen, and it just lights everything on the LCD screen. But it looks like there is not one here. So, so unfortunately, we're not going to be able to to test it. Uh, but guys, as I said, I think it's going to be that. So let's going to pull this cluster out and uh, see what we find out. A little bit more work than I initially expected. Um, I couldn't figure out how to pull this out without uh, removing the steering. Uh, probably I could try to take this front frame by removing these two bolts, these two screws here, and then try on the underside, remove the other two. But uh, I just thought I'll take the steering, it's way quicker. So the steering, you have three points here behind the steering. There we go. There's three here. So we just go with a screwdriver right here at the top, like that. And you go from here and you just pull it up, as you can see. So there's two little uh, bars that goes underneath this hook here. So from the back, you just pull it up and that pops out three times and the airbag comes off. Disconnect the airbag take these off then for the cluster you have uh, two screws here at the top and you have two here at the bottom and the whole thing comes out and um, after being here measuring voltage uh, my LCD screen I do have grounds I do have 3.4 volts uh, where I should have so um, this beep is for the airbag light um, it's for the airbag because it's disconnected uh, but yeah it's gonna have to be this LCD screen um, I can't really see anything else wrong with it. Um, there's no separate controller. The controller for this LCD is this um, MCB here, this processor. There is a NIPROM in there, but I have no reasons to believe there's anything else wrong other than this uh, display. So that's looked like, uh, that looks like it's my problem. And unfortunately, uh, we're not going to be able to fix this today. I can't really get the parts for this. Um, I was trying to look for the LCD screen. Um, <laughs> I found them only for sale uh, in Europe for about 80 euros or something like that. Completely crazy. 
Um, I couldn't find them uh, for sale on places like eBay, etc. I couldn't find anything for sale. I found a repair service where they actually do this, so surely they must find the screen somewhere. Um, but um, but they charge like over hundred pounds for the service. I thought that's way too much money. So my next um, approach is going to be get a used screen. I just made an offer on one that was for. 35 pounds I offered uh, 30 pounds if I can get the entire cluster for 30 quid it's not too bad um, then I will either replace the LCD from the other uh, cluster to this one or I will just replace the EPROM and put this EPROM on the other cluster and off you go um, one of the two I don't know yet I'll see which one is going to be uh, easier when I get it here, but it's just probably the screen's going to be easier. But anyway, just to let you know, that's where we are. I couldn't really find the the LCD for sale, um, at least not that easy. So, and I can't waste too much time here. Just try to look for parts. So that's what we're going to do. Um, let let's see which which one is going to play out. If we're going to get the screen, or if the guy accepts the offer or not, and uh, we'll go from there. And I think this should answer the question. So the original uh, cluster from the car is there. Uh, okay, is I never closed it obviously. So this is the replacement. And before we attempt to dismantle this, I'm just going to try to power it up, uh, see if it powers up okay, and if the screen is working. And then I don't know what happened to these gates here. But it doesn't really matter. Um, and yeah, so let's gonna try to power it up, see if that screen works. And then we're gonna dismantle this one and start to move some parts. Let's give you a test. So uh, I've connected uh, the cluster. So we do have uh, pin one. Pin one is your ground. Two and three is your powers. So uh, ground is connected. Now if I get the voltage and I just uh, do this. There we go, beautiful. So the screen is 100% working, that's all we need. So now let's gonna transfer the screen to the other cluster. Hopefully there's nothing wrong with cluster and it's just the screen, otherwise I might just move the EPROM. Let's see which one. And look at this, wow. It was literally a beautiful sunny day just two minutes ago. Wow. Wow, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and uh, we're supposed to... We're supposed to put the Seat back together today. <laughs> we'll see how. And looks like I messed up. Right, we all do it from time to time. I did realize that this car comes with two different screens. Uh, it looks like it's an upgraded version or maybe that's a different uh, trim version of the car and some cars will come with this and a, a, a higher trim version will come with that screen. That is this type of screen is what they call a dot matrix screen I think it is where the numbers and letters are formed with those little dots um, and that one as you can see is supposed to show the date at the top and then pretty much the same information below um, this one as you can see is slightly different uh, you can still go through the menus and all, and, all the, and all that good stuff as you can see what am I doing uh, So you can still change all the stuff around here, um, but um, but yeah, it's a different screen. Um, I looked on eBay just now because I thought if I messed up, I would correct it. I can't find any screens of those. Uh, obviously, maybe now when you are watching this video, there is some, but I can't find any with that screen. Only with this screen. So maybe is that is those screens that rare? Maybe I don't know. Um, but I can't find one. So I spoke with the owner. Uh, the owner is happy to have this screen. Um, he doesn't really care. The car is for sale, so he's not really bothered. For someone that's going to buy the car, you will never know any difference. Uh, and I just double checked. Uh, let me just put this back to the miles. So what I had to do, guys, just uh, also. So what I had to do, as you can see, the 
Aperom on this one is not even in place. It's here now because I had to remove it from there. And what I've done, guys, is I've um, read the Aperom. I removed the Aperom, as you can see there on the screen. And basically, I copied the data from this Aperom, this one here that belongs to this cluster, and I put it on this cluster. I already checked, and if I show you this, just curiosity. So, on the last MOT, the car had see if I show you this so on the last MOT as you can see in there the car actually uh, passed the MOT but as you can see there it shows odometer LED display not working which obviously shows mileage recorded it showed zero but when you come down here before as you can see the car had in 2022 41,422 and the car is now showing, showing 42,000. So 41 to 42, the second MOT shows zero. So if, if you want to re MOT the car, the car can now show the correct mileage uh, if he wants to do it before he sells the car. So, Kai is happy with this. All we're going to do is put the cluster together, give you a test on the car, and that should be it. And it is all working. I just went at the end of the road to make sure the speedo is working, which it is. And um, everything else is also working, as you can see, like the fog lights is working, uh, heated screen is working, uh, high beams are working, turn signals are working. Everything is working. I just need to put the airbag back in place and uh, clear the codes. And... Um, and uh, yeah, this car, guys, um, is done. Um, yes, the screen, guys, I know. Um, if the guy didn't want uh, to accept this uh, repair, uh, I would have to buy the bullet. And uh, it's my fault. I would have to buy another screen or another cluster and uh, do it the other way. Um, but the main thing here is, guys, is for you to see, uh, I don't know, to give you ideas on how we can repair things. In this case, we ended up having to actually uh, copy the data from the EPROM. I guess if the cluster was exactly the same, I would get away with just replacing the screen. But the options were there on the table, and uh, it's up to you what you want to choose. So, guys, I'm, I'm literally finishing this. You guys know I don't like to finish videos like this when it's really, really dark. But um, I'm hoping the guy comes and collects the car tomorrow. So, I just need literally to put the airbag and clear the codes and the car is done um, and that's it we know for the due guys i do hope you enjoyed the video uh, who knows you might you might have learned you might have learned something if you do still have any questions or any comments you know exactly how it works just put them below and like always thank you for watching